Nice job of Virginia to bring that ball in and really protect it. You see him come in and just Knight, Doug Knight is just covering the ball so that Hans Schmidt can't get it, but it drops out of his stick. Rozier watched it all the way. Here's Drew Fox switching from left to right, sending it back to Trainer. Starts his dodge. Let's correct that. That's not Trainer, that's Dawes. Or is it Driggs? You know, hard to tell. Yep. Watching the lane is now eight, number four. The eight and the nine is hard to tell from up here. We are very far away from the field. We know this is Fox going right. He draws the double and thinks the better of it. Now somebody's open. You've got a double slide. Somebody's open. You've got to move the ball. Here it comes. And they score. Watson, as he was slipping, perhaps he went high on Rozier. And Virginia gets their second goal of the game. That's the freshman Michael Watson, his 26th score of the year. This is where I thought Virginia had a chance to be. Watch the slide come out. It's Smith coming way out. Now they move the ball. He's out of two guys up there on the ball. Now the ball moves. Somebody's open. He's down to the right. They find him. Defense slides a little too fast. They duck underneath. And Rozier unsettled. Easy goal. It looks so easy when they move the ball. That time they drew the uh, double teaming Syracuse defense and moved it twice. Got the goal. They're not that far out of it. You know, of all the dominance the Syracuse has had in the first quarter, they only have a three goal lead. Ireland looks better. And now, on the negative side for Syracuse, Dave, they're going to be tough to coach. When you have that kind of a dominating first quarter, you don't like to listen to too much your coaches say because you feel like you're the superior team. And they've got a long way to go in this one. Well, Price was right again on the faceoff as he won it from Nugent. Here comes Colsey starting his dodge, draws the double, sends it where? Deflected off a Virginia player. Syracuse keeps it. Woody Moore, short stick, number 17 on him. Now he switches. He wants a long pole to go on Colsey. Eisenberg playing it off the turf, or at least trying to. He's put down, and there's a call that will push be a ball. push. Yeah, Woody Moore behind him. Kind of a tough call. Kind of call you you wouldn't be blamed if you made it or didn't make it. He was on his back. Dom Finn against the long pole. There's Finn. He's got two already. Two men in the crease. Eisenberg for the rebound. Did somebody step in the crease? I think Finn may have slipped in on that slot on that slide, and they'll give the ball to Virginia. Let's hear more from Dom Starja. We asked him before the game how his team would feel if they had to come from behind. Well, uh, we're uh, we're a little bit more con we're much we're considerably more conservative team defensively than Syracuse is, uh, but we also are uh, conservative in general, I would say. Um, but we we have a couple things that we like to do at the end of the game if we need to try to get the ball back, and we've had some success with that. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a mode that we're not completely comfortable in. But uh, we will uh, we will ride people. We'll do it early in the game. Uh, but we're comfortable in doing that. Uh, our goalie is very athletic. We can bring him out of the cage to help us out some. So we have a couple things that we can do if we need to uh, try to get the ball back ourselves. Virginia trying the quick stick goal in front, unsuccessful. They're trailing five to two. It's not the end of the game, Leaf. So they do have a lot of time left. But they've had to step it up a little bit defensively. Well, the story for Virginia, quite frankly, is just getting comfortable with this game, getting comfortable with Syracuse, and I think they've accomplished that. Now they can play their game. However, that time they lost the ball as a Michael Vaughn had it taken away. Toby Price has a man in the midfield area, and he got it to him, but he lost it. That was Christian Fotopoulos with a big stick. Now we get a whistle as Virginia heads toward the offensive uh, end. They take a timeout to try to set up to get a quality shot on Rozier. Syracuse has been dominating with defense like this. Christian Fotopoulos, number 27, the long stick midfielder, comes in, wrap check. Ball loose. They want the ball on the ground. Syracuse is a running gun team. They like the white ball in the grass. And the team in the blue jerseys has it. They can't get a good shot away. Syracuse comes away with it again. Wittick trying to run it down. He vacuums it up, and here he comes with a full head of steam. Going to the right hand. He doesn't like to shoot. He'll give it up and then head back. Chad Smith, long stick, close defender, still on the offensive end of the field. He goes back. Chad Smith is wide open up front. If they find him back door. Donegan. Spotted a man open on the right, didn't throw it his way. Now Donegan holds it as the big sticks head back. So for almost uh, 45 seconds, the two long stick close defensemen were down there playing offense. Syracuse is a 5 to 2 lead, but momentum can change rapidly in this game of lacrosse. Here's Don Finn on. He's got two Syracuse goals. He'll start his dodge against Tommy Smith. Gets free on the right hand, goes back to the left. And he gets doubled. Who's going to be open? They have to read the double better. Back door. Somebody's open behind the goal. Waiting for it is Donegan. Doesn't get it. Colsey feeds Jim Morrissey. Number eight. Back to Finn. 
Morrissey again. Syracuse with, uh, a tradition of domination from the midfield. A lot of teams do their scoring up the attack. Syracuse has had the great midfields in the last decade. They won the championship a year ago right here on the same field at Bird Stadium. University of Maryland. And what a perfect day we have as Donegan and Syracuse control. Here's Eisenberg down. Unusual to see Syracuse hold the ball this long without a shot. Here comes Finn against Smith. A slip by Finn, he pops up with it. Finn beats Smith. Finn switches hands and scores. What an effort by Dom Finn, as in finisher. And that time, it was spectacular. His third goal of the first half. And what Finn does so well is he hides the shot. Watch the quickness that gets him in position to take the shot. He wraps the stick behind his body and just cranks it using his full force of the upper body. Top pipe. Again, against the big defensive stick. He'll roll the stick back, hide the shot. High and hard to beat Ireland. When you get in that tight, tough to make the save on a shot that's probably close to 90 miles an hour. Dom Finn, third goal, and this one was unassisted. And it is a 6-2 to two lead. Tommy Smith stayed with him, stayed with him. And then Finn, perhaps because of his diminutive stature, was able to duck under, get through, and get the shot away. He's very strong, and he's used to going one-on-one -on -one against those long sticks. Look at that play. Virginia comes away with it, but just momentarily. Kavovic goes down. Syracuse gets to the loose ball again. That was Signer, who was the junior college player of the year at Herkimer in 93, but a push was called, and the ball will go over to Virginia. Signor is a great story. The kid didn't lose a game two years at Herkimer. Was a, the best player in junior college play. Comes to Syracuse and is playing a role here. Riding the bench a lot. Whiteley feeds. Syracuse right on the receiving man. Now Nugent has a number two. Lockwood will play him. Nugent trying to switch directions. Lockwood with a wrap check. That's going to be a, a penalty. And the slide uh, could have drawn a penalty as well, but the flag was already down. You see Syracuse have had, has had three penalties now. Lockwood again with the wrap check. Comes around, catches Virginia player underneath the neck. A little contact with the helmet. If he pulls that a little bit shorter and comes back, he doesn't get the call. But that was complete enough that he'll spend 30 seconds for holding in the box. So an extra man opportunity now for the Cavaliers. First time uh, Syracuse blocked it down from trying they tried to pass to the middle the second time they tried to feed the middle and didn't get it Watson feeds on the diagonal for the shot Rozier got a piece of it Syracuse gets the rebound Beardsley loves to display that uh, stick work look at that pass up to midfield behind the back he went to Winnick Winnick over his shoulder to Chad Smith Chad Smith thought he was going to give and go back to Winnick who ran to the cage. This is Mark Fietta, number nine, loses the ball. The outlet. Mishandled by Virginia. Syracuse takes it back. Kavovic. Now to Morrissey. Morrissey in close. There's an easy shot, and he blew it. Ireland did a great job of coming out, making contact as soon as he knew that Wittick was going to be one-on-one -on -one with him. Good play by Ireland. But overall, the team of Virginia a little bit sloppy with their ball handling. They've got great stick skills. I think they're still a little bit stunned with the great ability of the Syracuse team. Well, we told you earlier, Wittick doesn't really look to shoot. That time he wanted it, and he was really upset that he missed a wide open cage. And Ireland did well to come out and give him added pressure by coming out and making the check. Little lapses of concentration by Virginia. Unforced errors dropping passes in the open field. It's got to be a sign of nerves. Drew Fox uh, got the ball back. Now from behind, it's Whiteley. He goes way outside the trainer. Trainer took the last shot on the power on the extra man play. Was he was well outside just as he is now. He's got the great left hand, but he's got to move it in a little tighter. Pace slows down for a minute. We have 7-10 to go in the first half. High shot, not a good one off the uh, stick of Driggs. Six to two, Syracuse's lead. There's Rogier. He's the man of the hour. He has been sensational in the goal for Syracuse today. Timmy Whiteley is the quarterback of that team. He draws a penalty from Smith. Give and go, and uh, Jones couldn't handle it, but there's a flag down. Slashing call, so Syracuse giving Virginia the opportunities. Chad Smith as he heads off. What an incredible story. Last November he started suffering headaches. 
And it was later discovered that he had a sinus infection that had led to an abscess in his forehead. He underwent a surgery, the forehead bone removed. Later, he had to have a sinus removed. He was in very, very critical shape and was only cleared to play lacrosse at the start of the season. He has come back, and here he is in the national semifinal. Hours from death, and he comes back. It is a great story. Now they are man down. Penalty on Chad Smith. Sean Miller's on. He's number three. He's wearing the knee brace. What a shot that was. That caught the goalie Rozier by surprise. To who Virginia's trying out there on the faceoff. This time they sent out the Brian Birch, and Birch controls it. His uh, pass, however, is knocked down by Fietta. Birch trying to get it back, and he does. And as he gets it back, we have a timeout taken well, by Virginia. Possession timeout. Stars are call a timeout to maintain possession. Virginia has the ball trying to generate some momentum. They have not scored consecutive goals in this game. They're down six to three. This is a good matchup. David Jones, the great shooter from St. Mary's. He got the last goal, and Stars just set up a little bit of a one-on-one. -on -one. Jones against the short stick. And Rozier just came up with his 11th save of the game. Now Syracuse looks to get back in the scoring column. They work the ball well, and they misfire from a tough angle against James Ireland. Well, that was uh, a shot the attack will think about for a long time. He simply missed the 36 square feet. Good ball movement again, and the sliding defense for Virginia left somebody open. Cavalvit, the freshman, missed high. So Syracuse has missed a couple of opportunities here in the second quarter. Now Charlie Lockwood into his galloping mode, and he fires and misses. 5:45 to go in the half. Interesting slide. It started with a short stick, and Charlie Lockwood got picked up by a long stick defender halfway through his run. Ball in the stick of Kavovic. Nice spin move to get away from the D. He feeds across the cage for the goal from the weak side for Casey Donegan. So Syracuse has the answer again after a Virginia score, and now it's 7 to 3. Well, Trainer was the short stick on Kavovic. A lot of the defense is looking to help. Wilson took his eye off his man Donegan and was looking to help on the short stick guy. Here is Wilson looking at 16 trying to help against this guy Kavovit and meanwhile his man Donegan slides back door. Kavovit with the great vision gets the assist. Easy back door goal against Ireland who's having a real good second quarter. Now they send Nugent back out to take the face off. Brian Birch took the last one and won it. He's won 16 of 17 on the year but they send Nugent out again to take the face. And Nugent does the job, although Syracuse may yet come away with the ball, and they do. And Roy Colsey has it. Colsey draws two men. And they take him down and take it away. Nice job by Virginia, but Syracuse hustles to get the loose ball back again. Dan Lockwood, Colsey on the field together for one of the few times today. Now Syracuse sends it behind. Donegan's had a fine game. Kavovic with the fake. Kavovic. He's been a great surprise, Dave. This Kavovic has. He's a very heady player as a freshman. He really has taken over and is the thinker, the quarterback down there, even as a freshman. Roy Colsey's shot saved initially, and then it dribbles in. Ireland got the stick on it, but Colsey had enough to make it an 8-3 to three game, and this now is Syracuse's biggest lead of the contest. Colsey's got strength and speed. He just takes one step, blows by the defense. It goes low, and I think the save was made initially. Stick and foot. And the top spin of that ball just rolled it into the goal after this the initial block was made by Ireland Colsey. Two goals, one assist in only the first half of play today. Syracuse leads Virginia eight to three. And the Driggs on the faceoff feeds Watson, the freshman. Elected not to shoot. Miller had it. Now Driggs. Now Trainer as the goalie was caught completely out of the cage. Syracuse's defense tried to hustle back to make the save. They could not. This is such a key to Virginia, and I've been pushing it since the first quarter, but it's true. If you keep moving the ball, look how aggressive the defense is. Everybody's sliding. They start getting out of position. Now the goalie's out. He must, he must make one more pass. Easy shot and a goal. Good ball movement. The key to that again, trainer, great left-handed shooter for Virginia. But moving the ball against the fast sliding defense of Syracuse gives them their fourth goal. Rogier 
No chance to save it after he made that gambling move to go out and get it. It's almost like Syracuse, once they get a lead of four or five goals, saying, oh, we can afford to take a gamble, and that time Virginia cashed in. That's the second time of the game that's happened. Well, that's one thing you can predictably say. You know they're going to be a little bit aggressive. You know they're going to slide, and you can take advantage of that, but you have to move the ball. I am surprised of the times Virginia goes ahead and takes the one-on-ones. Trainer and uh, Rozier got a piece of that one for yet another save. But at no time of the game has Virginia scored consecutive goals. Now Chad Smith defending on Tim Whiteley. Oh, he hung the stick, and Smith took it away. Here comes Eisenberg. Now it's Let's Colsey. check that. It's Colsey now. Just about runs over David Jones. And he shoots, and there's Ireland going low to grab it. Now the outlet and transition for Virginia, something we haven't seen too much of today. Tommy Smith, the defensive man. Watson rifles one that's heading to the seats. And Whiteley is holding him his arms and saying, come on, I'm wide open. Again, they take the shot on the first pass. Meanwhile, Whiteley is parked on the left side of the goal, waiting for the feed, an easy backdoor shot against Rogier. Sy or Syracuse again dodges a bullet because Virginia has reluctance to move the ball on the offensive end of the field. Syracuse, in the meantime, has taken a timeout now with 3.43 to go in now the half. see, Watson will get it to the right of your screen. Whiteley's standing there. Rogier sees this all the way, and of course, it's high. It doesn't even matter. Meanwhile, Whiteley is parked to the left of Rogier. You can see Rogier leaning to the pipe, knowing that there was a wide open man to his left. Starja now talking to his guys, knowing that four goals down, you're still in the game a little bit. If it's five and more, you're in big, big trouble. Watch Whiteley right here. He ball goes over. Smith leaves him. He's wide open. He takes the shot. Watson does. Leaves Whiteley by himself. And the easier shot is ignored. Watson misses the whole cage. Watson, the freshman, played with Whiteley at St. Paul's here in Maryland. They played together through the juniors. They played for about nine years together. And here's Timmy Whiteley right now. Mitch Whiteley, his dad, was a goalie at Dartmouth and his coach at St. Paul's. And he was highly recruited coming out of high school. Leaf, as you check the Virginia roster for the NCAA tournament, the 32 players, there is not a single Virginia native on this roster yet. On the other teams in this tournament, in this uh, semifinal, there are several great players who hail from the uh, state of Virginia. Virginia draws a lot, historically, has drawn a lot of their great talent from the Maryland area. You know, there's a hotbed of talent right here in the high school programs in Baltimore and in Long Island, there is in upstate New York, of course. But they usually get their big guys from Baltimore. Starja now wants to pick a few more guys from upstate New York and Long Island. He says he not, has to make his team a little bit tougher. He wants a harder nose brand of ball. I guess he says the uh, the Maryland player is more a finesse player. The, the folks from up north are the rougher, tougher guys, right? Exactly. He wants to go toe to toe with teams like Syracuse. Of course, there is a team like Syracuse. Here's Virginia back on the attack, down eight to four. Whiteley feeds. Tough angle for the shot. That ball will roll out of bounds, but stay in the Cavaliers' end of the field. Andrew Dosh makes the cut. He didn't get it cleanly. If he got it cleanly initially, he had an angle. Once he got it into his stick, he had no angle. Took the shot anyway. And that's more of the play for Whiteley. Whiteley will distribute the ball. Moments ago, you saw him go one-on-one. -on -one. That's really not Whiteley's style. He's more of a team leader back there and a distributor of offense. Drew Fox outside, number 21, trying to beat Fietta to a spot on the field. There's Watson, number four, the feeder. Not handled. And loose behind the cage, picked up again. Carelessly thrown, but gathered in by Fox. His shot hit the side of the cage. Rozier picks it up, not a save. And a bad outlet pass by Rozier over the head of the Syracuse uh, defender, Hans Schmidt. You know, it's funny, and Rozier, if you read the book on him, he's a great outlet pass goalie. He usually stays between the pipes and has a great outlet pass. Today, he's been great between the pipes, but has come out a lot, and his outlets have been a little bit weak. Virginia with Watson again, handling it on the sideline. Big mistake, Dave, last time. They double teamed Syracuse did the last time Virginia had the ball moments ago, and Virginia did not follow in to get anybody open. Nobody was open after the white shirts were behind the goal. Hoig on the dodge, passed it off, and standing the bounce shot beats Rozier. They move the ball once. Rozier has to get reset. A hard shot. We talked about the low shots being a little bit more difficult for Rozier. Early on, he's been making a lot of blocks with his body, but this one bounces in and finds the pipe just underneath on the high bounce. Here it is again. Rozier resets. High, hard bounce on that tough turf. 
and eight to five is a ball game. We're back in this thing. And it was Drew Fox who got the goal for the Cavaliers, who now, for the first time in the afternoon, have scored consecutive goals. Set to take the face. Driggs is out now against Signer for Syracuse. Driggs wins it rather easily. Virginia looking to put a, a three spot up on the board. Let's see how much movement they get out of this offense. Again, the big left handed shooter is that right there, number 16, Trainer, and Driggs, number nine. And Jones coming on. They've got a lot of shooters on the field, Virginia does. Colsey on defense. Here's a shot and a score by David Jones. He went to the upper right hand corner. Three straight by the Cavaliers. We've got a new game. It's eight to six. And this team feels comfortable. The danger of going out to that fast lead like Syracuse does is that you become a little bit uncoachable and comfortable. Now Virginia comes back and they're a little bit flat footed. The Syracuse team is Rozier gets beat high early on. You couldn't beat him high. Now he's getting a little unsettled. The tide has turned. Ireland looks more comfortable. Rozier gets a little bit rattled and Virginia goes on a roll. And Syracuse forced to call another timeout with 202 to go in the half. They completely dominated the first quarter. Now it is an eight to six game after two goals in 22 seconds and three in a row by the Cavaliers and Casey Donegan trying to tell his defense and goalie don't sweat it. We'll get some back for you. And this is why I talked about the coaching thing. It becomes difficult. Your players can start off so strong. They feel like they really can take charge. They're much better. And now Simmons has to talk to his team at Syracuse and get him refocused. Meanwhile, Starge's guys feel like the weight of the world's been lifted off of them. They are comfortable. They weren't sure what was going to happen in the first quarter, but now they have their offense going. They're moving the ball well. They're shooting the shots that they like to shoot. That high shot by Jones is something that he's been working on. They move the ball once or twice, and he knows the shots that really work for him. Rozier looks a little bit unsettled. And that would be a big problem for Simmons because Rozier is going to be the guy the whole game. There's nobody behind Rozier that's going to come into this game. So Syracuse uh, has called their second time out of this first half. They had a five goal lead which was their biggest of the half and now in the last two and a half minutes Virginia has scored three times. Driggs will be out to face off again for the Cavaliers. They've used three different faceoff men. Nugent, Birch once, Driggs. Syracuse has Toby Price back out. He began the game. Woody Moore and Tommy Smith on the wings for Virginia. A little bit of a movement and a violation. Offsetting? Yes. Referee wants to reset it. Ball just lies on the field. You see both sticks move. Oh, that time no call, and Price ends up 